I was worried sick. In the end, the boys had been gone for seven hours. Sundown was literally minutes away and they were not home from fishing yet. Join us in this episode as we share with you what happened and why our time at this anchorage was one of the worst times of our trip to the Bahamas. In case we need extra gas, it's good to have, right? Yeah. I don't know, hopefully that doesn't prevent us from getting on plane. So you got all the boots, can you get off our, our life jackets? I got the boots. It's tough. <laughs> My foot was caught in it. Oh, I'm already thirsty. Well, we got a lot of stuff yeah, in bring there. Bring your other blue water bottle. Yeah, maybe I'll drink that on the way. You can't have too much water in these circumstances. Probably end up drinking more than you think. We're ready? Ready for ready. the bone fishing adventure. Okay. All right, we'll see. I don't know what time. Low tide is at 4.30 or 4.45 or something like that. So we'll, we'll probably be leaving just before that. So you, you guys are going what are way that? The over there. Walking. No, 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 4 o'clock isn't dead low. 4, 4.45 is dead low. And uh, so we're going to, yeah, we're going about six miles that way in this dinghy too. We have an extra can of gas. Good. And uh, it's a flashlight. little- Flashlight, do you have the flashlight? Got my little flashlight, yeah. Okay, okay so just in case. Just in case, we got some extra food and water in case something happens. Yeah. Um, and then my, you're planning on waiting when you too. get there and dragging the dinghy or what's the... Yeah, it could be. Well, we have the anchor in case we want to anchor out. Well, I look forward to hearing about the adventure when you get back. Good luck, guys. Oh, we'll need it. Enjoy the ride. It's kind of breezy today. I don't know how good it's going to be for fly fishing. But well, look how long this ride is going to be. It's, you can sing some, of, sing some sailor songs. Oh. See you later. So the idea there was two people in that little dinghy would be much better as far as driving. Uh, they can get it up on plane and it would be much easier. So I'm going to have some quiet time, maybe do some painting, some reading and some swimming. Pretty windy here, but we just walked and pulled the boat, the little dinghy, so far. You can see it in the background. That's where we pulled all the way from the shoreline up there. Our legs are just exhausted, but the tide was ripping out, and that's, that's why we had to bring it out, or else we would just drag it across mud and sand. So it was a good decision. Uh, see if we can find some bonefish. This is a bonefish. And some of you may ask, what is the big deal about bonefish? Bonefish are the most recreationally fished for saltwater fly fishing species. Their blistering runs when hooked are a real challenge of skill for fly fishermen. And due to their silvery color, they are almost invisible in the water. They are known by anglers as the gray ghost. You don't actually eat bonefish. They can contain a toxin called clupotoxin. This is common in plankton eating fish and the poison leads to death in about 50% of the cases. The Bahamas leads the world in protecting bonefish flats and has listed 5.2 million acres of marine habitats as protected, which means fishing for bonefish is all catch and release good for the ongoing health of the population, and also good for the tourism and economy of the area. Here's where we can see how far the boys had to walk pulling the dinghy. It was too shallow to use the motor. The wind had picked up considerably and they were exhausted. And the little six and a half horsepower motor just wasn't strong enough coming home in the choppy water to get the boys home in good time. When they were finally back in range, they did radio me with the portable VHF to tell me not to worry. I know I probably shouldn't worry, but I am worried. The boys left um, 
about 11 o'clock this morning and um, went bone fishing and radioed me to say, thank goodness they brought their VHF portable radio, radioed me to say they would be about an hour and a half, which is a lot longer than I thought, home. So about five minutes from now, it'll be the hour and a half. The sun is getting low on the horizon and I'm just concerned that they are absolutely nowhere in sight. Uh, our friends have pulled up anchor. There's only one other boat here anchored up and if I have to <laughs> pull up anchor and uh, drive this boat in the dark if they have run out of gas, they brought extra gas, they brought a flashlight and I just have to have faith that they will um, get back in due time and put the lights on here so that they can see where I am and um, hope for the best. As you can hear from all of the footage, the safety measures were in place. What caused the problem was the increase in wind, the great distance the boys had to tow the dinghy due to the shallow water, and the dinghy motor not being strong enough to cover the distance home more quickly in the waves. Well, Michael just radioed, and I can see them on the horizon, and he can see the boat, and I actually almost feel like crying because I'm so relieved that they're okay. There's another little dinghy coming around the corner, but um, they're on the horizon and they're just a ways away, so they are safe and they can see me, so um, that's, it's all good. And I look forward to seeing them soon. I can hear the little motor. I can see the little blobs. Thank God they are safe. You know, Michael, Michael is a good planner, he's safety conscious, and he's a good judge of time. But I have to say in this circumstance, I was super worried. So I'm extremely relieved. And the nice people from the boat next to us, Untethered, came over and had a chat with me. And I now know how to contact and hail them if I need to. So the boating community is amazingly supportive. and. Um, yeah, I just feel pretty relieved now. I know that I shouldn't worry, but I was worried sick. Uh, what a nice journey. Yeah, <laughs> it was real fun. <laughs> Can't believe it. Oh my God. With a sliver of light in the sky. Oh, I know. Morning, like you could not have caught cut it And we just closer. kept looking out there in the boat. We couldn't see your boat because it's so small. But we saw that big trawler sitting way over there. Well, they actually came over to say hi just now. And I said, Thank you. Thank you. Glad, glad to say hello. And they said that they would help if, they ne if we needed help. Oh, that's good. And I was already imagining what I would have to do to pull up anchor if you guys were somehow broke down somewhere. Oh, you, could, you couldn't even get over there. It's all shallow. It's too shallow. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's... Eric and I, we probably walked 10 miles, 15 miles of flats. <laughs> well, dinner's ready. If you're hungry. Oh, if you want to just oh, lay yeah. down. We're soaked to the bone, too. I bet the you are. Did you even see a bonefish? Oh, yeah. We got uh, we got lots of casts to them. Or Was we, it... Oh, honey. We just didn't get one to eat. must be freezing. Are you cold? Yeah. Nah, it's just cool. It's the water's not cool. chilly. All right. Near her. I'll now say we've been to Helen back. Yes, been we know Helen what that's back. like. We have a story. We have a great story for our children. Yeah. Remember the time we went bone fishing, Dad? Oh, Wasn't that hand, fun? My hand is numb from running the outboard motor. That 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 six horse is is just so gutless. So know? how many hours were you? You guys left at eleven. Eleven thirty. Yeah. Eleven thirty. 
and um, and it I'd is I put now it the other way, Eric, if you want. Almost six thirty. How long is that? Almost. No, put it on the other side. Put it. Uh, oh, jeez. That's that's seven hours. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, cats away left, huh? Yeah, but they gave me their location. Oh and yeah. And then their location for tomorrow, possibly, so we can catch up with them if we like. Okay. Really lovely people here at uh, Untethered is the name of their boat. Ah. And they were at the other. They were at Whale Key. They. Um, oh, were they? They spotted us at, at Whale Key because we're kind of a unique little boat. Yeah. No kidding. So. Um, yeah, I'm just happy you're home. Oh yeah, let me tell you, Eric and I are glad to be here. Like I told them, I said, we'll get there at sunset, and we did. And thank God you brought the VHF with you, and oh, extra gas, and extra wine. Like, I know you were prepared, but um, I still worried. And I know well, that you're very reliable and a good judge of time. But well, when it got we past... Called, we stopped part way there because we thought you might be getting worried about yeah, it. Yeah, I was very worried. Yeah. Good thing we got a waterproof bag. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, the VHF was left in the pail, yeah. so I don't know how much longer that thing's going to last for. Oh, darn. I got boots full of water. Well, you can rinse off and uh, have a nice dinner and uh, yeah. and snuggle in your bunk. Oh, yeah, we're tired. All right, I'm going to shut this down. Is that a bonefish these are all the shot by? These are all the turtles. Oh, we saw like 40 turtles in one little bay that was the size of the boat, maybe twice the size of the boat. Yeah. And it was just full of turtles. Wow. Yeah. And and when we pulled through it, you know, we kind of, Eric was, were you pushing or were we just yeah. drifting across? I was pushing with my feet. Oh, he's pushing with his feet and then I was pulling. Yeah. And uh, and these turtles were scattering everywhere. It was crazy. And then they kind of come around us and, and yeah, it was amazing. That, you know, we're having so how many? How far did you walk? We're having kingfish. Yeah. Oh, nice. Mm, that smells good, actually. Let me be able to... um, How far did we? Ah, uh, you know, it, it had to be 10, 15 miles. I'm telling oh my you. God, you're gonna sleep well tonight, I oh hope. Oh my gosh, our hips were killing us after a while. Um, but we saw some. Beautiful... Oh, you're warming your hands. You're so cold, oh honey. Well, we just, so you know what? We took every fifth wave we took over the bow and, okay because it's really rough down there yeah i saw and uh i was trying not to worry but i recorded you'll see in yeah, the recording well, we had to pump out the dinghy like three times or four times mm -hmm. i can't remember how many times we had to literally pump it out to get the yeah to so that you know it wasn't going to sink obviously it's a, it's a inflatable but it's just tried to get more speed out of it by doing it we couldn't get it on plane because this is a six horse going into that wind and waves so it just chugged along. Mm, just use a big spoon, honey. There's rice here. And there's salad ready to go for my boys. Boy. I know you're not a huge rice fan, but there you go. Pull that up. Put the rice up there. Mm. Okay, some rice. I don't think it's hot. so hot. You can put it on oh, the My hands. Look how wrinkled my hands are. I mean, just, just just been our, our feet and everything. Yeah, it's just their little prunes. Oh my goodness gracious! From getting gracious. everything with salt water. Well, you'll have a story a story to tell and a memory from this day forward. Yeah. <laughs> to say that you you went bone fishing and yeah, I, I kept thinking about that. It was a three hour tour. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> three hour tour. Well, you know what? When we got to the when we got over to the key, um, we found a cut we could go through. But we, I, you know, I always kept in my mind that you know the tide's dropping, and right. so we had to sort of. So we ended up pushing through to the other side because that's where the fish are. It's not on. They're not on this side. They're on the far side of the key. Mm -hmm. So we kind of pulled the boat through, and then it was like, oh god, it had to be like three or four miles of flat yeah, pulling it to the end, and uh, mm -hmm. and then we just anchored the dinghy there, and then we went. And we walked all over the place looking for a fish, and uh, and we found fish. They were just in that shallow water. They're so spooky. Wow, that looks good. Thanks, buddy. I'll start off with just that. Mm. There's also salad. Oh my god. Is there butter in here, huh? Uh, yes. Yeah. So, and then. <laughs> And then we looked at my phone and I could see that this 
flat went on for like eight miles mm -hmm. like to the south and there's no way we could get across this flat so we just started walking with the boat walking you mean there's no way you could get across get bowling across. with the motor yeah it was no, just way. Too shallow. no way it was too shallow and then mm -hmm. we finally found a cut that we pulled uh the dinghy through and we found in that basically took us straight back you know i wonder if you had left early in the morning this might have been a different no I it's think just you well still would have been, I we still the tide just, would have been we would have just stayed longer that's what it would have done because we we absolutely love seeing those bonefish well it's yeah. something you've dreamed of for a long time right well yeah, definitely for eric yeah i mean i've done it before but in mexico right mm -hmm. eric, do you want some butter in your rice yes, no? please. Is it can you imagine bread? if i had been in that dinghy with you oh yeah that would be I miserable should, yeah. Just oh, yeah. it would have been it would no, have been so been. slow. Yeah, we couldn't get it up at the start, and Dad was like, "Oh, we got too much weight in the boat. We're gonna turn around and drop off a couple water bottles." Mm. So glad we didn't. Don't wait. Okay, I'm gonna join you because yeah, I haven't eaten either, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna yeah. make a plate. Well, that day will certainly go down in the history books of Expedition Sea Nest. Leave a comment for us in the section below. Tell us what you thought of our adventure. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and we'd love for you to subscribe. It sure helps to grow the channel.